Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be about an option that is available uh, to add to your online store if you are using Shopify. So if you're not using Shopify, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not too late to switch over. Click the link down below this video, select Shopify and choose the plan that works best for you and your business. Um, keep in mind that you can always change your plans as you grow as well. So uh, you can now select or um, enable tipping options through your online checkout. So if anyone goes to your website and they're wanting to leave you a tip for maybe a service that you provided or uh, just as a, a means of support, uh, they can definitely do so now. I know some businesses are sending their like cash up information or PayPal information for their customers and supporters to send in tips. And so I think this is going to be beneficial for a lot of businesses because you don't have to worry about sending out an invoice or providing your cash app name or your PayPal name for customers and supporters to be able to leave you tips. Now, there are a lot of businesses reopening and there are a lot of businesses that are, um, you know, just just needing a little bit of, of support, needing a little bit of extra of extra love and attention during these times because we've been, you know, locked down for so long and there's it's had an effect on every business in some aspect. And so that's what we're going to be going over in this video. If you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So like I mentioned, this option is available on Shopify. I made a video or videos about enabling the option uh, for gift cards through your online store. I explained the benefits that it can allow you to free up some of your cash flow um, and be able to still help your business generate income because there are a lot of people that are looking to support businesses during this time, especially businesses that they have a relationship with or businesses that they love um, or businesses that they see value in. And so purchasing a gift card was, a you know, it is a way um, for your your customers and supporters to still be able to give back to your, your business without you necessarily um, having to go ahead and send out a product at that time. And so tipping options um, can definitely work simultaneously with your gift card options as well, because some people were purchasing gift cards just to show support and not really buying any products or services with a gift card. And so if that was the case in order, you know, instead of them doing that, uh, if they did want to support you, allowing tipping options would be another way to do that. And so as you can see on the screen, it reads online tipping gives your customers the option to add a tip to their order on the payment page when they check out. Customers can add the tip as a percentage of the order total or as a custom amount. You can customize the online tipping experience to suit your goals, such as supporting your business financially or raising money for a charity. And so uh, if you are looking at giving back to an organization or if you're doing uh, sponsoring for an event or a person, this is also another a way that you can have your uh, donators and supporters and your customers be able to give to that event. Um, I think this is going to be really beneficial, like I mentioned before, not only for the supporting aspect, but also to cut down on the confusion that people may have. I hear a lot of times where people are like, I just want to support this business, but I really don't know how to give money. And so not every business um, you know, has a, a clear, direct way for you to support, whether it's a charity, whether it's for their business, whether it's for a certain cause or a person. And so this just kind of allows everything to be more neat and concise. And, you know, just it, it provides a clear direction for tips and donations. So on this page, it is going over, um, you know, some information that you do want to watch out for if you are using offsite payment gateways. Now, all of this information is available through the Shopify Help Center. When I typically create videos regarding new updates with Shopify or existing information with Shopify or um, tools or how to's, whatever I'm doing uh, to provide information pertaining to Shopify, I like to provide the, the resource and where you can find this information. So all of this information is available in the Shopify Help Center. Um, so if you click the link down below, sign up for your account. If you have not already, you will have access to this Help Center. Um, even if you don't create an account, if you just want to go to uh, the website and kind of just familiarize yourself with Shopify 
with some of their plans, with their services um, and, and products and tools, you can do that as well. And you also can go ahead and take a look at their help center. So right now it's showing you how to go ahead and enable tipping options. So first log into your Shopify app, go to the store settings, and then under store settings, tap checkout. In the tipping section, tap show tipping options at checkout, and then under tipping options, enter a value and percent and the options field. Um, you can add up to three different values and then save it. Also, uh, you do want to, I would recommend creating a tipping message. So if I'm looking for support for my business, I would put that in as a tipping message. If I'm looking for uh, support for a certain charity, I would go ahead and put that information in the thank you message um, at, at checkout. Or if I'm looking for support for a certain calls, I will have that information laid out. I just feel that it's very good to let your customers in, let your supporters in, um, let them know what's going on with you at this point. I mean, you don't have to get to a point where it's unprofessional and you're, you know, just venting to the world. Um, but you you can let your customers know, hey, you know, we hit a very rough patch. We want to stay in business and continue to provide our services and our products to you. Um, but this is what we're, we're going through. So if you do feel it in your heart to donate or if we've provided a service for you where you felt that we've gone above and beyond your expectations or if you're super excited and satisfied with the products that we sent out. If you are wanting to, to add a tip um, or, you know, so back into our business, we truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And here is a way for you to do that. Um, a lot of times, I think so many entrepreneurs that I work with, um, if you, you don't know, if you haven't been following this channel, I offer business consultations um, and just, uh, you know, different tools and services uh, for entrepreneurs that are looking to grow and better their business. So if you are interested in any of my services or learning more about what I do, there is a link below this video for that as well. But a lot of entrepreneurs are very nervous about being transparent and very nervous about being judged. And of course, when you do start a business, you, of course, you know, that comes with the territory, right? There are going to be people that are judgmental. There are going to be people that, uh, you know, have a negative uh, thought process about pretty much everything. And so sometimes, you know, it discourages entrepreneurs from actually being transparent and um, asking for help. And I just want to remind all of you, anyone that is in business, it's okay to ask for help. It is definitely okay to ask for help. Um, it's okay to ask for a tip. It's okay to allow your supporters to sew back into your business. It's okay. I used to have a, like a really hard problem asking for help. I just did not want to do it. But I want to let you know from prior experience, it's okay to ask for help sometimes. Um, I do want to also touch on um, how to refund tips because there will be some people possibly that will ask for a refund back for their tip. And if you are wanting to do that or if you decide to... Um, you know, go ahead and, and refund it. I don't know what your refund policies are, but say you go and you're going ahead and you're refunding the tip, um, you can refund it just as you do any any type of order. So um, on the screen, it provides different steps. In just a moment, I'm going to scroll down, um, and then also you can find more steps going right through the Shopify Help Center. Um, but you pretty much will just pull up your orders. If you already have Shopify, then, you know, kind of picture along with me, pull up your orders, click the order, you'll go ahead and click refund, and it gives you an amount to refund, you can choose to either refund the certain product, or you can choose to go ahead and um, refund, you know, a portion, you can refund just the tip amount, I mean, you can go ahead and refund like you typically do. I kind of scrolled pretty fast. So I apologize for that. But um, the tips are available through the Shopify help center. Again, it's it's all available there. This is a brief overview of the information that's already uh, privy to all of us. I just wanted to let everyone know the options that are available because some people may not know. Um, I didn't find out about this option until a few days ago. I think it was, it may have even been yesterday. My days have kind of been uh, pushed together uh, lately. But, you know, I think this is really beneficial. And I think that this would serve as a uh, option to allow people to sell back into your business, um, you know, and also gives you the option to uh, be able to provide a seamless way and a path for your customers to be able to go ahead and do that without you having to send out your PayPal name and send out your cash app name and, you know, it just it makes things a lot more simplistic, in my opinion. Um, so if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.